Hello Cancers, welcome to your bonus love reading. This is going to be a message for Cancer Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. It will be a general message, so take what resonates, leave behind what doesn't, check your other planetary placements, and if you're looking for something tailored to your specific situation, please do get a private reading. And for me, all that information and more can be found in the detailed box down below this video. All right, my beautiful Cancers, let's go ahead and jump right into your reading. We're going to take a look at your heart space. How are you feeling about love right now? Are you open? Are you receptive? Are you closed off, blocked off? Are you dealing with leftover residue from past relationships? Just in generally, are like, are you feeling scorned? Where is your energy in your heart space? And then we'll be taking a look at your person. Now for my beautiful cancers, I will be pulling three cards for each side. The first card will have to do with those that are looking for reconciliation for with exes or somebody from your past. The second card will be for those in current partnership. And the third card, usually speaking, is for those that are singles looking for new love or new energies or have a new person in mind. Without any further ado, let's get right into it. All right, Spirit Team, let's take a look at Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Those that are looking for reconciliation, how are they feeling in their heart space at this time? Please show me clearly and precisely. Bring forth the best messages that Cancer most needs to hear. How are they feeling in their heart space? Those who are looking for reconciliation with an X, please. All right, we're getting harmony, peace, balance, friendship. So I feel like where most of my cancers are is you're kind of in balance. You know, there, there is a sense of harmony between you and this person. Um, you could have established, you know, a friendship or be working on that. For others of you, I do feel like you guys are, um, you're wanting harmony, but you're kind of at that breaking point. It, it's a toss up. All right. So for those of my cancers that are in current partnership, what is the energy in their heart when it comes to love? Please show me clearly and precisely. How are my cancers feeling about love? Those that are in current partnership, partner, current union. How are they feeling currently in the heart space? What does our energy look like, Spirit Team? Thank you. All right, we're getting resentment, stinging words, bitterness, anger. I'm seeing, sensing that some of you are very not pleased at the moment, maybe having disagreements, fights, um, arguments with your person. There is some resentment. Maybe somebody is trying to hold back, um, or you could be withdrawn from this person and waiting for an apology I'm also getting. All right, and those are my cancers that are looking for new love. How are they in their heart space, please? Show me clearly and precisely. How are my cancers feeling in their heart space? Energetically towards love for those that are looking for new persons, new energies, or have somebody in mind. All right, we are getting rejection, irrational fear, saying no, dismissal, and running, ghosting, disappearing, invisible. All right, so my cancers, you could be a, you could be running from somebody, running from a connection, um, or a possible connection, kind of disappearing. Um, some of you may be telling somebody no without rejection or you have a fear of rejection. Yeah, there's some confusion for some of you. Um, but some of you, I feel like you are connecting with a, or, or possibly in the midst of a spiritual connection, which can cause that, that runner instinct. All right, spirit team, let's take a look at Cancer's person. Let's take a look at Cancer's ex. How are they feeling in their heart space for my cancers at this time or in love in general? How are they feeling? Please show me clearly and precisely how are cancers X is feeling shattered, damaged, broken hearted, destroyed. So there's some sadness here. All right. For the cancers that are in current partnership, what is their person feeling in their heart space? We're getting chemistry, spark, passion, desire. So some of you, you're, you're feeling pretty bitter about this person, but they, oof, okay, they are feeling the chemistry. They can feel the fire, the heat. Some of this may be passionate disagreements and arguments, but they there is honest intent behind them. They've got clarity. They're searching for some clarity in this situation. All right, and future person. New love for my cancers. How are they feeling about 
love or for my cancer. Unconditional. Innocent support, whole heart. So this is somebody who is ready for unconditional, deep love. Yeah, feminine energy. They're, they, they've been kind of calling this in. They're ready. They're, they're waiting for it to flow to them. Some of them are caught up in a little bit of fantasy. But um, overall, that is the energy that my cancers are in or need to be in, is the feminine versus the masculine. So let's talk for a second about what that means. Feminine energy is simply, you know, when I, we say the divine feminine, um, that can be male or female sex-wise, gender-wise. What it is is the energy of somebody who, re, you know, kind of relaxes, nurture, guides, allows things to freely flow to them. Where the masculine energy, the divine masculine, is the action taker, is the seeker is the one that builds things into tangible reality. So they're the action taker where the feminine energy is more about flow, allowing things to come to you, not being the one that seeks them out, but the one that they come to. And that is the energy of this of my Cancer Collective right now. Some of you may be in the masculine energy, but I feel like a lot of my Cancers are in that flow. All right, so let's take a look at the tarot for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. For September 2020 through October 2020, please show me the best messages, advice, guidance coming through for cancer at this time. We're going to look at cancer's past, present, future energy, and the shared energy between cancer and their person. Please, spirit team, show me clearly and precisely. I already did some pre-shuffling, so I don't want to over-shuffle the cards. Here we go. All right. Some of you, I'm seeing judgment. So you may be making a judgment call. This might be about a reconciliation. We have the magician. So there is there is the ability to turn things around. And the three of pentacles is about working together. All right. So let's take a look at past your past energy cancer. I'm going to lay the cards out and then we'll get right into it. I will tell you what they are as I lay them out. All right, Cancer, you're coming through as the Queen of Wands, so you could be very passionate, driven, charismatic, you know, man, heck of a manifester here, manifesting the heck out of things, or you could have a fire sign that was a predominant person in your life, or you could have fire in your chart, Leo, Sag, Aquarius, Aries. Your person is coming through as the Empress. So there you have it. New beginning. We've already explained what the feminine energy with the Empress is about. This is a about nurturing creative new beginnings. Shared en energy between you was the eight of wands, the need for communication, wanting to communicate, fast-paced communication changes, and moving things forward. Current energy, you have the seven of cups. So a lot of emotional overwhelm, confusion, stress, um, a little bit of fantasy play kind of being playing things out in your head. Um, emotional overwhelm. So you guys are definitely feeling emotional. The person that you're connecting with, it's got the high priestess. So there's not a whole lot of talking going on. Um, could be a Pisces, Cancer Pisces, another fellow Cancer Pisces here. Or this is how they could view you. They could be viewing you as the high priestess, Cancer. But overall, I'm seeing more than anything else is not a lot of whole lot of communication. This person has a lot to say and knows a lot, but are not saying anything. Shared energy between you is the nine of pentacles. So that's my single, my single Pringle energy, but this is also speaks to that independence, that abundance, really feeling good about yourself being pretty solid where you're at. All right. So let's take a look now at future energy coming in. You're coming through with the higher font. They're coming through with the nine of cups and the shared energy between you is the knight of pentacles. Overall energy is the devil, Capricorn energy and the devil. And the hidden energy here is the magician. What did I tell you? The ability to turn things around, to change, to manifest something different. Bottom of the deck, we have the queen of swords. So knowing what's in your best interest and taking action on it. All right, so for my cancers that like to keep track, at this moment, we have Capricorn, Taurus, Aries, and the magician. For me as a reader, other readers, it's different. Cancer Pisces in the High Priestess. Taurus in the Hierophant. Possible 
Leo Sagittarius Aries. All right, so let's go ahead and get some clarification and find out what is going on here, Cancer. All right, Spirit Team, let's clarify the cards on the table for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for September 2020 through October 2020 for love and romantic relationships, past, present, future energy, shared energy between them. Please clarify, bring the messages with clarity and precision. Starting with the Queen of Wands and the past position for my Cancers. What is this Queen of Wands energy? Please show me clearly and precisely. What is this Queen of Wands energy for Cancer and the past position? Clarified by the Queen of Wands. Very interesting. Definitely fire. King of Wands. And the Knight of Cups. Okay. Cancer and the Strength card. Some of you are manifesting the heck out of a relationship. A divine union. We have the King and the Queen together with the Knight of Cups. This is wish fulfillment all day long. Like some of you are trying to manifest this, this very passionate, fiery, charismatic relationship, to be honest. Some of, it, some of you could be dealing with a Leo. You could be in coupleship here in the past with a Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. But this is definitely manifesting the heck out of what you truly wanted here. And you wanted to bring it all day long. I like it. Yeah, some of you, this is about yeah, growth and, and uh, stability. Building that foundation, getting truth and clarity. Some of you may have emotionally had to walk away from something. Bring something in to an end for this new beginning for you. Could be Leo doesn't have to be it could be any sign but there was definitely this sense of manifestation and like this really strong connection could be twin flame for some of you not all of you I don't want to throw that word around too much all right the empress please what is this empress energy for my cancers and the past position please and when I say past I could be talking you know last week last month last year 10 years ago, 20 years ago, it's all going to resonate differently for all of you. All right, so we got the Empress, the Divine Masculine with the Emperor, and the Death card. One more on the Empress, please. So I'm getting a very strong connection here. Divine Masculine and Feminine in this rating and the Death card. Could be Scorpio, Aries, Energy. Too many show me clearly um that something came to an end or needed to come to an end or you were speaking about an ending something needed to end i do see an offer with this knight of cups of emotion of emotional support of love there was a justice is here libra energy so we have we have so many signs showing up here um you need to bring some there was there was things that were out of balance yeah this is what you were communicating about somebody could have been blocking this communication a bit all right so let's take a look at the eight of wands what is the shared energy between you and this person past energy there's definitely passion and fire here the hanged man so there there was a need for communication but nothing was happening and nobody was taking action to move this forward What else can you tell me about the state of wands? Thank you. Yeah, there was need for communication. All right, guys. Sorry about that. It always happens. One reading and cancer, you got it this time. All right. So that being stated, this is why I also don't like doing readings during the day because this kind of stuff happens. So, all right. So back to where we were at, shared energy. So there's the eight of wands, right? It, it is, you know, eight of wands talks about fast paced communication um, they wanting to move things forward with the hanged man here it tells me nothing was moving forward. I believe that there, like there was a need for conversation here, or there was a conversation about why things came to a standstill, why they did not move forward between you and this person with the world. This tells me this was completing a cycle for you, cancer. It's like coming full circle. All right. So let's take a look at your current energy. Find out what's going on with the Seven of Cups, why we're having emotional overwhelm, confusion, just emotionally kind of rot here. Some of you, again, I get the, I get the, I get, some of you, this is fantasy based. 
Um, definitely daydreaming and playing out scenarios in your head. There could also be many options on the table for some of my cancers, and that's what we're going to find out. So what is the Seven of Cups energy for cancer? Current energy. Please show me clearly and precisely. Yep, Two of Pentacles, Temperance, Sagittarian energy. In that, somebody may have Sagittarius in their chart, and the Two of Wands, yeah, and the Three of Cups. So some of you are weighing out the possibility of a reconciliation. You're back and forth on it. You're not really sure. You're taking a look at it, whether or not whether you want to move forward into reconciliation. Some of you may be getting good news. And you're weighing your options here. I, I do get the sense that for some of you, this is about tempering your energy, trying to make the right decision, needing to come into balance. This, Whatever the situation is, emotionally has knocked you um, off balance, off kilter. It's going to be different for all of you, so I'm not even going to take like a guess. I, what could that actually be? Because, again, it's going to be different because of all the energy is coming in. But there is a need to temper. Temper that emotions, kind of get clarity to bring yourself back into balance. There is a need for balance. A lot of you are at a crossroads with this decision. There is a decision that you're trying to make, and that's why you're emotionally overwhelmed. Because I don't think like you know exactly which direction to go to. Some of you may be getting some good news about a new opportunity, but it's going to require movement and change on your part and it has to do with a person from your past so this has to probably do with a reconciliation or something from your past is coming back up again that's going to cause a little bit of discomfort that you're going to have to look at and heal in order to move forward and, and choose a different direction all right so let's look at this high priestess this is your person current energy what is going on with this high priestess energy please show me clearly and precisely what is this high priestess energy we got the Seven of Cups, or Seven of Pentacles. I would not be surprised to see the Seven of Cups on their side, too. What else do we have with the High Priestess? Current energy, please. The Nine of Wands. So this person's being guarded. And the Six of Cups. And the Full. Okay. So for some of my cancers, this is somebody from your past returning. They want another chance. Or they're at least evaluating the possibility of another chance of, about moving things forward, having a new beginning with you. I don't feel like they're talking to you about this cancer, though. I feel like it's silent. Like things are not being said at this moment. It's kind of all concealed, which could be leading you to your confusion. Um, with the Nine of Wands, this is somebody who can be guarded. It, he was trying to get prepared or be prepared because they don't not sure what to expect. This is somebody who may be psyching themselves up to come and talk to you. If you're not dealing with an ex person, when we see the six of cups, this is somebody who is evaluating the past, their past, which you know where they were wounded, where they were hurt, so they could have a new beginning. Possibly, this has to do with you know looking at their shadow side, trying to heal to move forward. Current relationships, your person is really evaluating your your life together. You guys may have known each other for a really long time, but in an established, you know, established commitment, or you may have had a past life together, but your person's really not saying a whole lot here. They may be keeping something back, but they're really evaluating what's hurt them in order to try to maybe begin something new with you. Um, so let's take a look at the shared energy. With the Nine of Pentacles, what is the shared energy between Cancer and their person? Please show me clearly and precisely. What is the best messages that need to come through for this Nine of Pentacles? What is going on with this Nine of Pentacles energy? Please show me clearly and precisely. Nine of Pentacles clarifying the Nine of Pentacles. Somebody or both of you, if you're in partnership with somebody else, you need to get single. Um, don't know why that came through. We got the Magician. What else can you tell me here about the Nine of Pentacles? Something needs to change. In order for reconciliation to happen or victory in this case between the two of you, something has to change. There is, there's need for both of you. If you're not, you're both taking a con, you know, time out from each other. There may not be any communication happening for some of you. Um, but this is needing to heal. There is something that needs to be healed. And I feel like it's from your past. Um, whether this is your past with this person or your past in general. Both of you are trying to heal from things that hurt you. 
with the Nine of Pentacles, this is standing in your own abundance, feeling really good about yourself. Um, it's also the ability to be a master, master manifester, but it's even more than that. It's like setting your attentions and they naturally just flow. Like, you know, this is just an example, a bad example, but an example. I want a hundred dollars. I just, I'm setting my attention. I will receive a hundred dollars by the end of the week. And then you go about your business. You don't focus on it anymore. And then the nine of pentacles energy, guess what comes to you by the end of the week? That's, a, that's why I'm talking about a master manifester. They have that attention with a magician. There is the ability to turn things around to manifest what you clearly want to have victory, but it's going to require healing as such as healing, taking time out to heal and working together. Could be an Aquarius that you're connecting with, but this is about bringing healing and balance, deep healing and balance. Yeah. And there's the Empress. Like this person and you are very connected, but there is a need to take a time out to heal what needs to be healed here. And to, in some of you, not kidding. Some of you, the message was very clear. If you're in a current commitment and you're looking at somebody else, they're in a commitment and they're looking at you. You both have to get single before anything can move here. All right. So let's take a look at future energy for my cancers with this Taurus, with this Taurus, with a Taurus, apparently for some of you, it's going to be with a Taurus, um, with a higher clock. That is about, you know, long-term commitments, marriage, engagement, traditional family values. This is also about spirituality. That is way too many. Well, we're going to take them now. We got the sun. We have the higher form again. Just clarifying, double clarification. Some of you, this is definitely a Taurus. Um, the three of swords and the full and the ton of wands. So what has been a burden for you? I think you're really kind of getting to know yourself on a higher level here. There a person or you could be in a position of power and authority or really, you know, spiritually tapped in, right? Um, the sun is the happiest card in the tarot. And what I see is you're looking at what's going to make you happy in the long run, like your long-term stability. You're getting that spiritual guidance. I'm getting some of you are working with your spiritual guides to bring this happiness into your life, heal what has been broken within you, that heartbreak, that pains, those betrayals or perceived betrayals. I see a new beginning for you, but it's laying down the burden to move forward away from regrets and persevering over what has hurt you and portrayed you towards a true and honest love. It can be slow moving, but I promise you, those messages and offers are on the way because you set your attention and now you just have to wait for it. That's the message that's coming through for you, Cancer, future energy. So let's take a look at your person with this nine of cups. Some of you may be coming into partnership. Nine of cups for, yep, there's that offer. And this is their wish fulfillment. This is them having found their worth Remember how they're evaluating? This is them having evaluated, had found that Nine of Pentacles energy. Solid in who they are. Self-love, self-care, self-determination, self-powerment. That is the Nine of Pentacles energy. And I feel like you both are working towards that. That's another message that I just got with that. You both are working towards that Nine of Pentacles energy. So that when the time comes around, you'll be ready for each other. Um, definitely the wish fulfillment. I love messages, offers, you know, emotionally heartfelt message coming in or being communicated, um, by your person. Some of you, this is about reconciliation, judgment, judgment over the past, releasement and what and healing and ready to move forward. I like it. Mm -hmm. Yep. Three of cups, good news, celebration, reconciliation, joining. Look, twin flame, Gemini energy all day long, having the power to overcome that ten of swords. All right, so let's see this knight of pentacles as a shared energy. All right, the ten of wands came out. The seven of wands came out. The 
High Priestess and the Hermit came out. So Pisces, Virgo energy. All right, so there will be a little bit of conflict within for both of you. Things are going to move slowly. I do see a releasing of, of those burdens. I see overcoming the obstacles and challenges and persevering in the situation. What was hidden will be revealed. This is a very spiritual couple coming together. The Hermit and the High Priestess. All right, I'm going to grab some Moonology cards. All right, Spirit Team, let's take a look at Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for September 2020 through October 2020. Best messages for my Cancers, please. What's Cancer most need to hear? Cancer, believe in the impossible. So right now, wherever you're at, if you're feeling like there's no way in H-E double hockey sticks, this is going to happen for me. There's no way I'm going to get this person. No way I'm going to find that love. No way I'm going to be single forever. I'm going to be trapped in whatever forever. Believe in the impossible because it's being already being worked on. I'm being told it's already being worked on behind the scenes. Your angels, your guides, even your ancestors are hard at work working to make this happen for you with the right person, right energy, the right timing, all in divine timing. Not, you know... Not by our clocks, our calendars, our weeks, our days. Divine timing. Be bold. Make the first move. Something's coming to a head here. I can see it with the, with the climax, fiery climax. So something's going to happen. Like, if you've been in a holding pattern, you're going to break free from that. But you got to make a move. you got to move. Cancer. you got to move. Hmm. <laughs> Don't let your pride get in your way. Full moon in Leo. You could be dealing with a Leo that's stubborn. Uh, time to take action. New moon in Aries. What did I say? Time to move. Work through your fears. New moon in Scorpio. One more, please. One more best message. A new start is coming. Bottom of the deck. Prosperity lies ahead. So Spirit likes to bring this message forward as a reminder to everybody in the collective. Like, we just completed a big, huge cycle. And so, with that being said, the message coming through, and this, my spirit guides have been bringing this to me. Oh, they have been bringing this one hard. So, here it is, Cancer. There is nothing behind you meant for you. What's in the past is in the past. The past is closed. Imagine a solid brick wall between you and your past. The past is over. There's nothing back there. If there is something that was meant for you, that was behind you. You're not going to find it by looking backwards. You're only going to find that by moving forward. What's meant for you will be on your path forward. So metaphorically speaking, tear off that rear view mirror, throw it in the trash because there's no looking back. Look forward. If something from, from back in the past was meant for you, you will find it on your road and journey forward, on the road forward, not behind you. All right. Last but not least. Please get one advice card from the Oracles of the Fairy, please, from my beautiful Cancers. Thank you. Moon energy. Surrender to the ebb and flow of life. If you're feeling confused, this fairy comes to calm emotions and rest assure and to rest to and to reassure assure you. Oh my gosh. You that peace of mind is possible. So one more time. Surrender to the natural ebb and flow of life. If you're feeling confused, this fairy comes to calm emotions and reassure you that peace of mind is possible. All right, Cancer. Bottom of the deck. Life energy. The happy fairy of sunshine brings lots of life-giving energy. She reminds you to shine your light to reveal anything in the shadows that need to be healed. Bottom of the deck, deviation. and brush your powers of deviation, which are especially strong right now. You have the ability to see your current situation with crystal clear clarity. Look at that. I told you, spirit, angels, guides, they're working on this. They're working on you. They're working on your person. They're working behind the scenes. Feminine energy with this moon energy. It's about going with the flow of things, not trying to force them, not, not making that masculine 
stance. This is about allowing things to flow. Some of you are being guided to take action, but not necessarily towards this person. What I'm being told is to take action on healing and bringing yourself into balance. Work on you. Make things happen in your own life where, you know, financially, health-wise, family-wise, friendship-wise, make things happen. Build your dreams, which should not be centered around another person. Build yourself. You know, the, the movie, um, 